Greetings, welcome back. Today we're going to use a span to target inline elements. You can use spans to create inline elements. Remember when we use the button block class to make the button fill the entire row? So here, non-button block, here, button block button. That illustrates the difference between an inline element and a block element. By using inline span element, you can put several elements on the same line and even style different parts of the same line differently. Nest the word love in your things cats love element below within a span element and give that span the class of text danger to make the text red. Here's how you would do this with the top three things cats hate element. So in here we've got a span, a, a P element, and then the words top three things, and then a space, and then in, then there's a span where we write text danger and the word hate is in there. And we close the parentheses. So your span element should be inside your P element. Well, let's come down here. Um, we want to write top three things cats love, and we want to make, okay. And does it say where it wants us to do that by using the span element? Nest the word love in your things cats love. Okay, things cats love down here. It's in this list, things cats love. So what do they want us to do? They want us to wrap the love in a span. And we're going to set the class equal to text danger. And then when we come down here, we'll see that the word love is wrapped in red. It should be inside the P element. Okay, the span is within the P element. If I were writing this code like this, I would actually uh, increase... Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would do this. And then I would uh, take that one down. This way, you can see that it's within the P element. And then here we've got the span. I might even do something like this, uh, but probably not because this isn't the right size. Your span element should have just the text love. So if you've got love and parentheses, that's wrong. You want to make sure that the uh, parentheses is outside of the word. See how the parentheses are black and not red? And it should have text danger, text danger, and you should have a closing tag. What does that mean? This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. If you run the test, it should pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next lesson.